Hey guys, welcome back to some AFK Arena Companions. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the two events, really breaking it down, what they entail, which is the Alliance Contest and the Spire Contest. Um, I think overall one is guild related, one is essentially with your other player. So you can see FHG and Erase are both together in here. It says not enlisted. We did enlist and I wanna see what this looks like and kind of break down so it has four phases of the enrollment, the matching, the event, and the calculation. Enrollment lasts phase two, or two phases, two days. That is what we did already. The event requires a team of two adventurers to participate. If you haven't found a teammate by the end of the phase, you will be paired with one. So pretty cool. So if you don't find anyone, matching phase lasts four hours. Um, during the time, adventure teams are matched into groups of similar strength. So you're not gonna be in there with a mega whale. You're gonna be in there with heroes or players that have a very similar strength. The event phase lasts one day, 20 hours, so just short of two days. During this period, adventures on the same team can earn points by participating in different modes. Their points are added together, so you're gonna have to make sure that you're active within here. And I'm hoping that a race is going to be active. Might have to hop in with D2 if we don't see a lot of activity in here. In each event, all adventure heroes are adjusted to the same level. The events include Dream Realm, Zero Limit, Arena Challenge, Tactical Trials, Alliance Quests. Each of these has a diff different difficulty. In each event, two of the three modes will be randomly activated, which we're gonna have to try. Three different tactical trials appear in each event. Alliance quests are available in both easy and hard difficulty. Five random quests will appear. So it seems like this is gonna be a pretty in-depth content at the end of the event. Unclaimed rewards will be sent via mail. So let's go ahead and challenge now and see what it looks like. So the Alliance Venture, we have the Dream Realms Challenge, Zero Limit, Tactical Trials, we have three of those. Alliance Quests, looks like we have quite a few of those. So let's just start in our top left with the Dream Realm Challenges. You can see this is the Burning Brute. Let's go ahead and join. And I think we have currently have three. Oh, you only have three attempts in the entirety. So I'm thinking between all of these, we only have three abilities. Um, you can see these are worth 20 points, zero limit, 10 to 50. And then of course, 10 to 50 in the Dream Realm. Let's go in for the most expensive and see what we can do in here. Obtained a challenged event, five challenges left in here. Let's go just with our regular team that we've been running in a lot of different content. And I'm hoping this is gonna make sense. And again, we're really testing it here, seeing what exactly this kind of game mode looks like. Here we go, so it is just fighting the Burning Brute. So I'm almost wondering, um, Burning Brute comps, we know over on the classic version, uh, make a really big difference. Now we have super limited heroes over here. So we're just gonna have to kind of run with what we have, even looking at who we have, Legendary, Legendary Plus. Again, we're just gonna have to run with what we have. Um, I'm hoping Rowan makes a big difference, having Shamira's ult going off the entire time, also ulting Eron, as you can see, very fast trying to maximize the damage in here. And I believe we do get five attempts in here. So the highest rank currently ranked number two, which is the 16 million, four challenges now. So we can go ahead and run this five times. Um, don't know if there's gonna be a better formation, but I'm wondering if the RNG of the new record still uh, number two right there. Points in tally, we have 40. So again, you're gonna have to make sure um, without a doubt that the other player that you're running this with is active within this game mode. If they are not, you're really gonna be hurting essentially 50% of, of the um, points that you can acquire in this game mode are going to be lost in their entirety. We are gonna to have to focus on, we're gonna to have to build this up. All right, so that's all five of our attempts in here. There we go, so total score 40, so points in tally 40. And then of course we have two more right here of our tokens. Let's try the zero limit. So what is this? So we have two different bosses in here. Wow, that's gonna to be tough um, because I'm wondering if, you know what, let's hop in here and just see kind of what it looks like. Let's use an attempt, we have five challenges. Um, oh, difficulty, you know what, let's start with, let's go with 10, let's see where 10 is. And again, thinking of two teams, um, this is going to be incredibly difficult, especially only having some bare minimum built heroes. So let's go with a tank, let's go with a little bit of support. And I'm thinking, let's run those two together, but we'll run some of our support heroes in here together. Zekis and these two will save for the other team. Ooh, this is gonna be tough, because I know a little bit of a buffer. Uh, we could save Brutus for the other team. But thinking of some of our Elite Plus heroes, and again, we're, we're pretty slim when it comes to the other heroes in here and what we're gonna build for the sport. Let's throw Belinda in here. There we go, so that'll be our first team. This one, of course, we're gonna go ahead, let's drop Iran Laika in here. 
Um, let's put some support. And then maybe a secondary support, almost like, let's go with Brutus. We'll go with Brutus as the primary tank, because of course we're not going to be able to pull this boss forward. But I want to see, and I don't know exactly what it's going to look like or how these heroes are going to perform in here. But I want to see what we get. I don't even know if we can kill this hero or if we can kill this boss. All right, so I mean, HP going down pretty well. Did get the double casters in there. All right, so not too bad. Cleared floor 10, and it didn't have us. Let's challenge, let's go up. You know what, 10 more floors. Let's run the same thing. We can just auto this, see exactly what it looks like. So there we go, so there is 20. Let's go to 30. And I'm wondering at what point are we just gonna drop off and we might have to just kind of back this off. There's 30. So we cleared 30, that gives us 40 of the points in tally. All right, let's see what we can do. And I'm wondering if building one team um, makes a big difference. Currently ranked number two again in here. Let's see what 50 looks like. And you know what? I think it said something about 51. So let's challenge, um, let's do 51 and see what we can get in here. If we can figure out, if we can finish this one off. And there we go, so 51 done. Again, that gives us 40 points. Now we only have one more attempt in here. Let's go for a tactical trial. Let's see what it is. Win the battle. Win with four light bearers. Win without any heroes falling. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. And looking at what we're, what we're fighting in here. Win with wilders. Okay, wilders might be a lot more achievable. There is our maulers. Let's go ahead. Let's try the wilders in here. I think it said four wilders. So one, two, three. Let's throw Rowan in here. Hopefully keeping everyone alive. And I'm thinking maybe Tassie. Let's go Tassie in here. And again, thinking of pulling all of these heroes in here. Tassie, we got a banishment. And then of course, doing a little bit of damage. Let's see if we can get this one done with the challenge goal. So boom, that pulls everyone in. See, Iran just got wrecked in here. I wonder if we can try it again. Wondering if challenge now. So we can, we can challenge this again and again. Almost wondering, let's run our tough team in here. I know we don't have the Wilders, but. Wow. Yeah, I mean, just winning the battle. Um, We don't have really any other heroes to use within this game mode. I'm wondering, almost the five pull not worth it. I was wondering if Hodkin could provide a little bit of crowd control. Yeah, I'm thinking this isn't going to happen in here. Let's try just pulling the, these front couple. We got the banish off right there. Whew, I'm going to have to see what we can do to try to get a few of these. Let's go ahead and put our tank up front. But again, there's the banish. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to finish this. We can come back, we can try this one out, but all right, so that is what it looks like from the Alliance Venture. Um, I'm not sure exactly, because we got quite a few team points in there. Team log, um, no messages, go challenge now, ranking rewards. Not sure exactly where we are, because it says not enlisted. Don't know exactly what that means, but you can see the team points right here. So it seems like we do need some points out from Erase um, to, to really build this, because again, we got a couple, Team points in there. Don't know if he's going to or how. Um, essentially, if the, the team points, if we don't have anyone else in here, that comes in if a race doesn't come back. So a race, if you're on, definitely hop in um, so we can get this part done. Now, the Spire Contest as well. This, I believe, is related to the guild. You can see the guild reinforcements right here. Remaining challenges three. So setting up my defense. This, of course, is just going to, we're going to run the same thing that we've been kind of running. There's going to have to be a point where, you know what, I'm going to put Spider in here. There we go. So defensive setup is there. You can see we have a ch we have a chest, and it looks like there's a couple players that have gotten some chests. Um, distribute based on activity ranking. So 30, 90. I like this because when you look at the activity ranking, this is actually something that they added to AFK Journey. Um, the players that actually try are the players that are going to be rewarded um, which is awesome. So the players, it really incentivizes players to perform better. So windfall, we have 
um, underground bandits and dangerous monsters. Let's go for all or nothing. Let's see what we got in here. 141. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Um, 141 Mukong. And I'm wondering, because I know it said we only have three events, but we want to try to get more diamonds out of here. Let's challenge it. And there we go. So we can borrow some heroes in here. That's going to be a game changer. How many can we borrow? You can borrow two. Again, that's going to be a pretty big game changer in here. We should have no problem taking this down. If, if we can borrow two of these, um, let's go with Brutus just because, again, he's a monster. And I want to pull everyone in together into Brutus's whirlwind. I think that's going to make a big difference in here. There's boom, pulling everyone together right there. Brutus, just a monster, which is what we wanted. There we go. We got that one down. All right, so that gives us 900 diamonds. Uh, that's incredible because that is 32,000 in there. FHG fought the dangerous monsters. Let's go ahead and do the same to so 200, 200. But again, it looks like both of these are underground. It doesn't look like there's any way to refresh this. It doesn't look like we can refresh this, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and farm this one out a little bit. And we know Nara's in here. Oh, that's going to be tough. I was going to say I knew Nara was going to pull us in. But I feel like if we can get Brutus, because he has that immunity. Guys, one star Brutus, a three star Mishka. That's a big, big difference in how well. Uh, look, there's a player. So there are actually players in here. 900. Let's go for 900 in here again. All right, so we got Belinda. We want to pull Belinda in. This will also pull Rosaline. Yeah, this one will work. Because again, we're going to pull everyone into Brutus. There is the roar. There we go. Brutus gets it down. But that's a lot of diamonds, guys. Adding into that treasure pool. So let's see what it looks like. There we go. So we got some dangerous monsters. Finish that part out. Group. There we go. So FHG hippos right there. We are, guys, among other guilds. This is the activity within the guild. So not too bad. I, I like that. And again, I like the even distribution. You can see Coven Quincy absolutely crushing it in here. But contribution rank, I am ranked number eight for what we're building it. And this is the first day that we've actually seen this out. So definitely want to focus on building this out. And again, gives you an incentive to really go through and build out um, some of this part. Now, of course, we don't get the rewards right now, but we know it's coming in, in time. So very cool. Still working on building out those Wilders in the entirety, running through, building out this faction. So again, I really, really hope that um, Erase hops in here. You can see 8-40, so he's made some progression. Um, I'm hoping that he farms out and he hits up those couple different parts within the event. So, all right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.